I want to ask you about some other big economic news this week. Earlier this week, we reported that the electric car company Fisker Automotive may be preparing for bankruptcy. The company is backed by the United States Energy Department. That means, of course, uh, taxpayers, and they could be on the hook for $192 million. And today, Bloomberg News tweeting, Fisker Automotive said to fire 80% of staff as deal evades plug-in car maker. Donald, that's another uh, idea of the energy department lending taxpayer money for an idea that's gone belly up. How much more can we take of that? Well, I think it's terrible that the United States has become an investment banker and virtually everybody they back goes out of business. You look at what's going on with the solar panels and the solar energy. You look at these horrible windmills that are destroying every environment. They're destroying areas. They're destroying neighborhoods. They're killing all the birds. The windmills are the worst of all. And we're backing all of this garbage that doesn't work and it's really destructive, and they're all going out of business. So we're not an investment banker. We're a country has to take care of its people. But every time we make an investment, it seems to go bad. You know, if I, if I needed heart surgery, I wouldn't go to, to a neurologist. I'd go to a cardiologist or a cardiac surgeon. Uh, what I don't get is why the government, which has maybe bureaucrats or scientists or whatever, think that they're investment bankers all of a sudden. I guess it's because they're not playing with their own money, but they are so far going beyond their expertise. And if these were great ideas, private capital would, would run in and snap up these businesses, but they aren't. That ought to be a red flag. Well, you know, Greta, I've gotten to know a lot of people in government, and government has a lot of fantastic people, but it's not their expertise. This is not what they're supposed to be doing. And frankly, even the great investment houses make mistakes, but at least they have to pay a price for it. The government isn't paying a price. So we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be backing a car company that comes up with a new concept for an electric car. That's perfect for Wall Street. Let it happen at Wall Street. And if it works, they benefit greatly. And if it doesn't work, they lose their shirt. And that's the way it's supposed to be. But how much more of this can we even take? I mean, we've got Solyndra. I mean, we've got, I mean, there's like almost no way to stop the government from just taking the money and making these investments. We hear about them when they go belly up, when they go out and start sniffing around looking for a bankruptcy firm. That's when we hear about it. Well, I think it's probably the least of our problems. It's hundreds of billions of dollars, and that's a lot of money. But the big culprits are other countries and what they're doing to us. You look at, as an example, Brazil gets the Olympics. We wanted to get the Olympics. We don't get anything. You look at, as an example, South Korea. We're spending tremendous, we'll spend billions and billions of dollars to protect them from North Korea. They're not giving us anything. What are we doing? I mean, you know, they're a competitor of ours. Hey, they're wonderful people. I've had partners from South Korea. They're wonderful people. But why are we doing this all free? We're not that we're not in that position as a country. They should be paying us for this. We send those aircraft carriers over. We send all those ships and those planes and the bombers and we, we get nothing out of it, except in all fairness, they take most of our business. You know, they've made some unbelievable deals with our government. They are just taking our business, South Korea. So why aren't they paying for this kind of protection? This is just one of many things. So when you talk about Solyndra, that's a lot of money. But the big money is what other countries are doing to us.